In mission four, you're going to go and grab a holy water. And you're also going to grab stinger level two if you didn't already have it. And then you're just going to start stingering down this hallway. Once you hit there, you'll activate a phantom fight, but you can just walk into the door here. And just skip it. And then once you enter the room, you want to aim over to the left side of the screen here so that you don't get caught up on this fountain. And then you can just take two stingers to get over to the lion. And then you want to hit it three times. And then the shadow here, the strategy for the shadow um, is that, like, you can also, you can move during this, by the way. So you just walk out of the way here. And the, the strategy for this particular shadow is that you're just going to get your devil trigger back real quick by shooting it a couple of times. And then start Devil Trigger Ebony and Ivory. And whether or not, and like how many, how many hits it actually takes to kill these things is random. And that's what I want to stress to you guys is that the the RNG that you can get on this fight is can be terrible or it can be great. But once the shadow actually opens up its core, you want to stinger it two times until you see it get this red color. And then you want to undevil trigger and then taunt. So that you can get your Devil Trigger back for the Nello Angelo fight. And that you don't you don't have to get it back, you know, up the stairs or whatever. And then just dodge its attacks. What's the stinger for when I can... What's the visual for when I can stinger it after court is exposed? You should just be able to... Okay, so once it's at, like, this... This big state, you don't want to... I don't think you want to do it when it's, like, immediately opening up. Yeah, you, you don't want to do it, like, too fast while the core is still small. You want to wait for it to be a little bit bigger, like, in this state that it's in right here. And then taunt. Just dodge its attacks. Again, these things can die really quickly or they can die really slowly. It all just depends on what the game feels like giving you that run, which sucks, but hey, it is what it is. And then you want to ignore this Bloody Mary over here by just walking up the stairs, and then you just, you can sting her to the top of the stairs here, and you'll do that three times. So then this jump, which where you're going to grab the death sentence, you want to aim for right here. And you're basically going to be jumping off screen, and then wall hiking up to it you want to wall hike right and grab the death sentence and then jump back down helm break onto this enemy and then just walk through the door after putting the death sentence in this little statue and you grab the melancholy soul you can just stinger through activate the cutscene helm break down and then here is another boss fight where, where you're going to be doing slash cancels, or I should say it's the first boss fight, but it's another example of slash canceling. So what I do to make this very consistent is that you want to always be hitting Nello Angelo in the front so that he will always want to retaliate against you when you use your holy water. So I always run off to the right here. So you can see me running over to the right to get in front of him, and then I start running forward. And you want to do eight slashes, so four slash cancels. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then on Devil Trigger, so that you can have Devil Trigger ready for the beginning of the next mission, because you get Devil Trigger for killing Nello. And then go and use your Holy Water. Bam, fight's over. I didn't get hit in this example, but if you get hit, you get a B rank here, which is still fine. So an A or a B rank there will, will do you just fine.